I've been teaching Excel for over 15 years, and I'm always on the search for tips and features that will help save us time. Here are 17 of my favorites that are hiding in plain sight. So if you have a sheet with a lot of workbooks in it, it can take a lot of work to scroll back and forth with these little arrows. One thing you can do is just right click right here and that's gonna open up a list of all of the sheets. You can find the one you want and then double click it and that'll jump you right to that sheet. Another useful tip when your workbook has a lot of sheets in it is to right click on the status bar and you can see the sheet number right here. And you can actually click on this to add it to the status bar down here. And this is useful when you're communicating with coworkers to let them know which sheet number you are on. The status bar is also useful for quick calculations. When you select a range, you'll see some quick stats about the cells in that selection right here. You can right click here to see additional metrics and then add those. You can also click on any of these numbers here. If we wanna click on the sum, that'll copy it to the clipboard and then we can paste it in the sheet. If you're in a meeting and you want everyone to focus on a specific part of your spreadsheet, first select that range, then click on the zoom down here in the bottom right corner and double click fit selection. That will zoom into only the selected cells. And of course you can click here again and double click 100% to zoom back out. If you come across a really long formula like this, you can press this button here to expand the formula bar. If you still don't see the entire formula, you can drag down here to expand it even further, and then you can click this button again to collapse it. Keyboard shortcut is Control shift u If you have a sheet like this where you need to make the columns wider so you can read the information, of course you can double click right here to auto fit one of the columns, but if you wanna do that all at one time, first click this button right here, which will select all of the cells on the sheet, all of the rows and columns, and then just go to any column and double click it, and that will auto fit all columns. I just want to take a quick pause and say that if you're new to our channel, welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and our goal here at Excel Campus is to help you elevate your Excel skills so you can save time with your job and advance in your career. Oh, and as you're watching this, leave a comment below and let us know which tip is your favorite. Now let's get back to the video. This dropdown is called the name box and it allows you to select any of the named ranges or tables in this workbook. But we can also use it to select ranges. So in this example here, I wanna select from B4 to E500 to put some borders on a table that I'm creating. So I'm first gonna select cell B4, then in the name box here, I'm just gonna type E500. I'm gonna hold the shift key and hit enter and that will select all the way from the selected cell, which was B4, down to E500 and now I can just go apply some borders. If you use named ranges, then this trick might be useful for you. If you zoom out below 40%, so 39% or below, you will see the named ranges appear on the sheet right here. And this can be useful if you have a long sheet for navigation, or if you just wanna see where named ranges exist on the sheet. If you're working with a sheet with a lot of shapes, selecting these shapes can be a bit of a challenge. You have to hold down the control key to select multiple shapes. Here's a way to make this a little bit faster. On the Home tab, you can go here to the Find and Select and choose the Select Objects tool. This will essentially turn Excel into PowerPoint or have it behave similar to PowerPoint where you can just draw around shapes to select them. It makes it much easier to select multiple shapes. Now, when you're in this mode, you won't be able to select cells. You need to press the escape key or go back and press this button again to escape out of the select objects mode to then select cells. And I like this one so much that I actually put it on my quick access toolbar. You can just right click, add to quick access toolbar, and then I can toggle this mode anytime right here. Next, I wanna draw some arrows between these boxes. And to do that, of course, you go to the insert, illustrations and shapes and choose arrow and then you can draw the arrow. But the challenge with this is, is that now I have to go back to the insert menu and on the same process to insert another arrow. However, if you right click here and choose lock drawing mode, that will lock the drawing mode and now we can just continue to draw arrows without having to go back into the insert window. And when you're done here, you can just press the escape key to exit out of the lock drawing mode. If you're enjoying this video, 
feel free to share it with coworkers, friends, or students. I think the world would be a better place if everyone knew a few more Excel tricks. Next, we'll look at a useful shortcut when writing formulas. So here I have a formula in a cell, and I can either double click or hit F2 on the keyboard to edit that formula. And here I wanna subtract the discount. So I'm gonna type minus, and then I wanna use the arrow keys to select the cell to the left. However, when I hit left arrow, it's actually gonna move the text cursor within the formula, and I don't want that. And the reason this happens is because Excel is currently in edit mode. We can see it right down here in the status bar. And if we hit F2 on the keyboard, I'll first move that over to after the minus symbol. If we hit F2 on the keyboard, that will put Excel in enter mode. And when we do that, now if we left arrow over, it's going to select the cell. So we can continue to left arrow or use any of the arrow keys to make a cell selection. And F2 is a toggle, so if we hit it again, it'll put it back into edit mode, and now I can move the text cursor within the formula. I'll go ahead and hit enter to input that formula. Next, I wanna copy down this updated formula. And one easy way to do that is to put the mouse cursor in the bottom right corner of the cell until it turns into that plus symbol. This is called the fill handle. And right here, I can just double left click on the fill handle. That will automatically copy the formula all the way down. There are a ton of uses for the fill handle. I have a separate post that covers them in more detail, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you wanna apply the same formatting to a bunch of cells, the Format Painter is great for this. Once I've applied the formatting to one cell or a range, I can then click on the Format Painter button right here on the Home tab, and that will allow me to then select another cell to apply the same formatting. Now, Format Painter also has a lock mode. You can double click it, that will put it in the lock mode, and then I can just click cells that I wanna apply that formatting to, and they will all be formatted. And then once you're done with this, you can either click the Format Painter button again, or you can hit the Escape key to exit out of it. These tiny little buttons on the ribbon here actually have a purpose. If you select these, these will open the Format Cells window for this particular group. And of course, here we can make changes to our formatting, this one here also opens the clipboard, and another one I use on page layout is the page setup to open the page setup window. The fastest way to make a duplicate copy of a sheet is to hold down the control key, then left click and hold the sheet and drag it to the right until you see that little plus symbol in the icon. Then release the left mouse button. It takes a little bit of practice, but this is much faster than going through the right click menu to copy a sheet, and it also works when you have multiple sheets selected. If you wanna hide all of the visual clutter of the ribbon up here, you can double click on any of the tabs to collapse it. This will also make the grid area larger. Now, if you need to use one of the buttons on the tabs, you can just click the tab here and that will bring the ribbon down temporarily. You can click any of the buttons here and interact with it. And then when you click back onto the grid, that will hide the ribbon. And of course, if you wanna bring it back, just double click it again and it'll bring it back permanently. And the ribbon can also help us learn keyboard shortcuts. When you hover over some of the buttons on the ribbon, you'll see the keyboard shortcut right here in the screen tip. Another popular one is on the data tab here. Keyboard shortcut to toggle filters on and off is Control Shift L. Now, not all buttons on the ribbon have keyboard shortcuts, but I encourage you to explore the ribbon to try and find the ones that do, and this will also help you learn some of the other commands and features of Excel. All right, so I hope you found some of these features useful. I'm curious to know which one was your favorite. Leave a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna be even more efficient in Excel, check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.